Bowser coming up from the back. Right on, Peach. So close, he could almost snatch her away, and then... Oh, there's Mario with a chain shot! Blasting between the two on his way right. to victory! Right. What did I tell ya? He always gets a chump. That's what did I tell ya? Gotta be rigged. He knows the game. Spends the whole time sitting in eighth place because he knows he's gonna bust the right box and grab the chump. Yeah, yeah. Just take the money and shut up. <sighs> Thinking about the killing I would have made a few years ago on the 150cc had my guy not screwed it all up for me. That Rainbow Road fiasco? What, with had money riding on Mario in 97? Eh, I knew a guy who knew things. But he didn't tell you everything. Who are you? <sighs> Doesn't matter. Just hearing you talk about how Mario knows his shit <laughs> takes me back. What, you know something we don't? <sighs> you know, before each race, Mario would sneak a birdo into his car. And while he was idling in 8th place, he'd have that Birdo give him a road blow. A road blow? <laughs> At those speeds? Couldn't resist the high of it. You ever gotten a blow from a Birdo? Feels like you're impregnating a black hole. Like you're just pumping little babies out all over a galaxy you'll never visit. That was descriptive. But you want to know the real truth of Rainbow Road on February 10th, 1997? Yeah, we'll see what you got. Just between you and me, the bastard got glitched. Whoa. That's a bold accusation. How do you know for sure? Because... <laughs> I was there. I was in the shit. I was the shit. Sometimes I'm able to convince myself those were the best years of my life. Other times, I just wish I could flush them down the pipe like a crushed piranha plant. Can't say I had a friend among the bunch. Can't say anything at all, except tell the story how it really was. It was lap two. I was sitting pretty in seventh place, coming up on Wario. Couldn't tell you exactly how Wario got into this party, but there were rumors he'd done something horrible to the previous winner of the preliminary rounds, a Koopa Troopa named Sparky. He throws a shell, I dodge and drift behind him. I've got to play it safe. I don't know if he's got a three-pack or not. All I know is that his aim is shit, and he's riding my bumper. I can see Mario way in the back, biding his time. That bastard is plotting, I thought to myself. Then I see it. Shit. But he doesn't throw them. He plays it smart. He shell shields himself. But I gotta play it smart too, or I'm as fucked as chic in a North Carolina bathroom. Barriers drop away. Now it's all about precision and speed. And getting the fat ass behind me to waste his shells on two relics of the prehistoric era. <laughs> I've got bananas. Shit. Let's make this shit count. And now Wario follows. You're stupid at hard! Suck my peel, motherfuckers. You and the other comeback stories. I stopped being impressive a long time ago. We still gotta talk about the shit you put me through on Yoshi's Island. Seriously, don't think that we're cool. Can't concern myself with why Mario wants to stay in last place, I think. Then a blue shell whips by. I check my map and see Luigi's in first place. I take a moment to imagine what the smell will be like when Luigi shits himself when the bluey takes over. The moment passes, it smelled like shit. Because I have the strongest imagination of anyone I've ever met. Probably. I'd say poor bastard, but Luigi knew what he was getting into when he started fucking Peach while Mario was at the Olympics. They boned until they burned the house down. Literally. 
No one's sure if Mario knew, but it was the talk of the kingdom for everyone else. The Olympics were kind to the guy, even if some of his new endorsements were questionable. But I couldn't keep thinking about that. Like the rest of the kingdom, I was coming up on Princess Peach. You look worried. Sucks watching your boyfriend get ass blasted by a bluey, huh? <laughs> I don't know what you mean, sweetheart. But I guess I'm not being totally honest here. Because before she was poltergeisting Luigi and downing Mario's piranha plant, she was my girl. No, we never got farther than her saying, I only like you as a friend, and you're like a brother to me, and do you think Donkey Kong is a big dick? But to me, it was love. And now, here we are, side by side on a road above an endless abyss. Funny how things turn out, huh? And then there's this kid. Gotta be honest, I always liked the guy. Except for all the times I heard his name and also saw him in person, and every single time he crossed my mind, but yeah, good guy. Ah! Oh my god, I'm sorry. I thought you were someone else. Mario? He's had it out for me this whole free! Is it safe to say he knows? He knows what? About you and Peach. There is no evidence that Peach and I ever did anything. We made a sure it all burned up in the fire. Don't make me regret to having called you. Guns backwards. Huh? Don't make me regret having thought. Turning it sideways doesn't mean it still isn't backwards. Guns are hard, okay? You know what isn't hard? What? Keeping your eyes on the road. Oh? What? Ah! You gotta be fucking kidding me! Give me a break, people! Not sure which sick fuck thought it was clever to use my head for a speed boost, but I'll take what I can get. <laughs> now I've got one guy left, and he'll be the toughest son of a bitch that- Oh, hello! Uh, hey. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. I'm good. Uh, Excellent. Wonderful. Good is good. Though I feel as though I must pose a question. Uh, go ahead. Do you happen to know why we're in space? N no, I can't say I do. I'm personally quite impressed with the track. What do you think? It is what it is, I guess. Shit, the guy's an idiot. Now I feel like a dick. So, how are things with you? Oh, pretty good. The lease on my apartment is ending pretty soon, which is really going to free me up with month-to-month -month payments for a while, and ultimately- Okay, the guy's boring. I don't feel like such a dick anymore. Which is increasingly hot. Hey, did you know there's a shortcut to the finish line if you take a sharp right? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit bizarre. It looks I'd just fall off the edge. Yeah, they make it look like that, so not everyone will take the shortcut. Oh, that makes sense. Though I suppose I do need to weigh the pros and cons of taking such an easy route to victory. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! I hate my life! So now I've just got to keep a nice lead. With just one lap to go. And I hear it. He pulled out the chomp. Right now I've got one advantage. The Chomp almost never makes it to first place. And maybe I can get another advantage if... A lightning bolt in first place? That never happens. But I'm not going to overanalyze it. There's a time and place. I've got to maintain first place or a close second before I can use this bad boy. But there is no telling what he got. Shit, he's gonna nanner me. Just my luck. Gotta time this right. Oh no. 
Gotta get this before Lakito makes it to me. Come on! Come on! Now! This isn't over, you true fuck bitch! I know. Sometimes I just make myself horny. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I want to give a big thank you to Brian Ventura who animated this, as well as Cannon Clifton who wrote it. We have another one of these coming up, so if you liked it, please subscribe. We also have our Twitter account that just went up. Our handle is smash underscore bits. The link will be in the description. Last video I asked for 20,000 likes to release if Undertale was realistic, five. Uh, you guys blew that out of the water, so this time let's ask for something crazy like 20,001 likes, and we'll release if Undertale was realistic, six. Thank you guys.